If you're serious about landscape photography, but not sure which raw editor to process your files with, then stick around as in this video, I'll be looking at what might be the best raw editor for the job, DxO Photo Lab 8. I'll be running through its top four standout tools, specifically for processing high contrast landscape shots. To understand why each tool stands out, let's work on this image, which shows a coastal landscape framed by a beachside restaurant. This was shot in RAW with my Sony A7C under high contrast lighting and you can see the deep shadows in the restaurant interspersed with the bright highlights in the background. As you would expect with any RAW file, the image looks pretty lifeless. But that's not a surprise since RAW files are designed to be post-processed. Let's start off by recovering the details in the highlights and shadows. Unfortunately though, Merely relying on the highlights and shadow sliders to aggressively balance tones, as I'm doing here, gives pretty cheesy HDRE looking results due to the sliders targeting a too broad range of tones. And that makes the image lose contrast. Definitely not the look we want. As such, when dealing with high contrast landscapes, the better way to recover detail is via local adjustments. And that brings us to the first standout feature of DxO Photo Lab 8, Intuitive Control Line Masking. Control Line is a specialized masking tool in Photo Lab which combines a linear gradient mask with an eyedropper tool to effectively target specific tones. Since it functions like a linear gradient, you get smooth halo-free transitions in your mask. However, better than a normal gradient mask, it integrates via its color picker intelligent color and brightness analysis for more precision with a technology called U-Point. By the way, I've discussed the control line in greater detail in another video. Do check that out if you have not done so. So let's use the control line to mask the shadows in this image. I'll navigate to the local adjustments panel. I'll select the tool. I'll drag in the controls. As you can see, the control line supports adding multiple controls in one layer, which is a nice touch in Photolab. I'll ensure a long transition for a natural looking edit. I'll also ensure that every picker is pointing to a dark area representative of the pixels we want to mask. One nice feature of control line is the soft edge, which allows for a seamless blend between adjusted and unadjusted areas and also mimics the gradual transition in natural lighting. Next, I'll increase the exposure slider pretty aggressively. And there you go, despite this large increase, you still get a nice smooth adjustment without any ugly artifacts. It also illustrates the benefit of shooting in RAW where fine detail can be recovered in even the most underexposed areas by capable tools like Photolab. Next, let's perform a separate adjustment on the brighter washed out areas, which include the sea and sky. I'll create a new layer. I'll mask the area with a control line. In this case though, the picker has been automatically and incorrectly pointed to the sand, which is not representative of the brighter areas we want to mask. As such, I'll drag it to a brighter area. And as you can see, that improves mask quality. I'll lower the exposure. There, the detail is nicely brought back. On the other hand, the sea is still looking pretty dull, lacking the vivid hues of the actual scene. And that brings us to the second standout tool of Photolab, ClearView. ClearView is Photolab's tool designed to remove atmospheric haze and boost image clarity. What makes ClearView stand out is the quality of its adjustment which is better than other dehaze tools. Other dehaze tools tend to oversaturate or add harsh contrast. Clearview, on the other hand, is able to maintain natural looking color while enhancing contrast. To use it is pretty simple. I'll increase the slider. And as you can see, Clearview restores the punchiness and clarity in one step. Here is the before and after. Next, let's move on to fix another common challenge in high contrast landscapes, heavy noise in the shadows. And you can clearly see this when you lift the exposure. 
Thankfully, Photolab has a standout tool to handle this type of problem, Deep Prime Denoising. If you follow this channel, you know about Deep Prime. Deep Prime stands out for its ability to reduce noise while preserving fine details better than any other app. Do check out my videos on that topic. To demonstrate, I'll navigate to the Detail panel. To better view the difference, I'll add in Photolab 8's newly introduced Loop tool, which lets you zoom in on a specific part of your image for close inspection. As you can see, the Loop tool shows the excessive noise in the shadows very clearly. I'll turn on Denoising, and you can choose from either the older generation Deep Prime or the newer Deep Prime XD2. Both work great. Looking at the loop tool, noise has been nicely cleaned up while maintaining the roof's texture. Pretty amazing results. Finally, let's work on the last problem, image softness. Whether softness is caused by the lack of in-camera sharpening, as this is a raw file, poor lens quality, or wrong camera settings, looking up close, the image does look pretty soft. Thankfully, here again, Photolab 8 has a standout tool to rectify this, Lens Sharpness Compensation. Lens Sharpness Compensation stands out because unlike generic sharpening tools which rely on a uniform approach that can lead to uneven sharpness in the image, Lens Sharpening Compensation leverages on extensive laboratory testing tailored to a specific lens, which produces higher quality results. To know more about sharpening in DxO, do check out my video on that topic. To demonstrate, I'll once again add in the loop tool for close inspection. I'll turn on Lens Sharpness Compensation. And just like that, the image looks tack sharp without the ugly halos. And that brings us to the end of the editing. Here is the before and the after. As you can see, it is a world of difference and the images look vivid and sharp even when zooming up close. Here is another example of the tools in action. So those are the standout tools of DxO Photolab 8. As you have seen, used together, they can give amazing results. But are there any drawbacks? I would say yes. The first is its weaker highlight recovery, which I've discussed in other videos. While DxO's shadow recovery is top notch, the same can be said of its highlight recovery, which lags its peers. Do check out my raw editor comparison for more details. In fact, when shooting high contrast, I would recommend underexposing by one or two stops just to make sure Photolab can adequately recover the highlights. The second drawback is the lack of AI masking. While viewpoint technology is great for masking the sky and foreground, as in our demonstration, it is far from the best when needing to precisely mask a person or object. And for that type of task, the best type of masking is AI masking, which allows for creating a well-fitting mask in one click. Unfortunately, even in 2025, this is one tool that Photolab still lacks. So do take note of that drawback. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what are your favorite Photolab tools to enhance landscape photos. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.